Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. I'm going to show you how I scared up some cute packaging with my dollar store find. So I took the bucket and filled it with candy, but of course we're not done there. We have to do more. <laughs> We've got to make this more special. So what could be more special than the Tags for You stamp set? We've got Trick or Treat in here. Yay! And so we're going to go ahead and do that and decorate our bucket. The Tangerine Tango cardstock coordinated much better with the Reese's Cup and even the Peanut Butter Kisses Them Pumpkin Pie did. And I just wanted to emboss it so it just stood out really well. So I have my embossing buddy. So my embossing powder only sticks to where I want it. My Versamark stamp pad and my trick or treat stamp. And so we're just going to emboss this real quickly. And I want to do this just in case somebody's new. New stampers are always finding me, so I don't want to just assume everybody knows everything. And embossing is why I'm a stamper. I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. My demonstrator, when she sprinkled the powder on and then did this, and it stuck, I went, oh, she says, that's not the good part. <laughs> she was right. Although I was, she had me at the embossing powder just sticking. So then we're going to take our heat tool. Loving the new heat tool. So much quieter. Of course, it's making some noise, but a lot quieter than our other one, the intense heat. We just hold this on until it melts. And you don't want to overheat because it can burn your cardstock. I like to turn it so I can see. See, I, I can see it melting now because I've turned it in the light. And you're done. That's a beautiful thing. And then we have the coordinating punch to go with that. <laughs> the label bracket. So of course we're going to do this upside down so we can see what we're doing. And that's already that's already uh, cool enough to go ahead. It's not going to smear on me. And look at that. Isn't that just something? So you could do these really quickly. You could just stamp on there, but I just wanted to be, you know, in the basic pack, I just really wanted to be even more prominent. So now we'll take mini glue dots and attach this. Peel it back so I can see them. And cute. But you know what? This just isn't good enough. We have got to do better than this. So off comes off comes that. Dump out our candy. And you know what we're gonna do? We've got washi tape. Of course we can't use this because we chose tangerine tango and that's pumpkin pie. But look at these skulls. <laughs> and so now all we need to do is follow. I'm gonna start under those stripes. and come down. We'll just come underneath and tear it off. And these stripes, of course, because they're stripes, there's space in between. So we'll do the same thing with our washi tape. We'll just keep putting this around. And I w um, to do this project for real, well, let's just do it for real. I want this. I want, I want it straight at the top. So it looks nice and neat. There are times when washi tape is really cool with that torn edge. This is one time I just want this to be nice and neat. So that's all we do. Just space those evenly going around. Let me show you what it looks like all done. So let's have a look at how this turned out. Our Witch's Brew washi tape all around and ending with, of course, our Trick or Treat tag uh, from the Tags for You stamp set, which um, when you purchase the Tags for You stamp set in Woodmount or Clear Mount, with the label bracket punch in the Tags for You bundle, you're going to save 15%, and that's from the Holiday Catalog. Also from the Holiday Catalog is the Witch's Brew Designer Washi Tape, so you can make these fun and easy projects. I love bringing you easy projects for your Halloween packaging. <laughs> so go ahead to my online store, www.shopwithshelley.com, and pick up all the products that you'll need. I'll have a link underneath the video right in my online store to make it easier for you. And uh, so you can just make these and whip these out at no time. Don't forget the buckets came from Dollar General. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.